All right, so our next, next task is to automate the light, the entrance light based on this motion sensor. This is a motion sensor, okay? This will be on when it sends any motion, all right? It has some range. So you can see a red light is on when I move. This will be on for five seconds by default and then it will be off. So if I move again, this will be on for five seconds and it will be off. Okay, so we have two controls here. One is the motion sensor and this is the light. So we want us that if it sends anything, any motion, this light to be on. Okay, so let's take their control in our connect IO by this blue indication. Now we have in the tags you'll find, oh, this is the motion detector and we have light entrance over here. Okay, so initially if you want to see if I move in this environment you'll find this light bit will be on okay so like this this is on so if I connect it here you can see light is on now when I move again light will be on for five seconds okay this is uh, this is very simple you just have to connect bit one end to another end you can achieve this motion sensor and light control but sometimes you know if you want to actuate this light for a longer time let's say 10 seconds what you can do that so in that case you have to apply a few logics here so let's see what we can do so for 10 seconds first delete this line and take set and reset function just like before so for that I'll take this block and I'm going to put set here for the motion detector it will set this block and this will set the light now we want a 10 second delay light should be on for 10 seconds not 5 seconds so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a timer from this bit this bit is going to actuate a timer you can find timers in this functional block over here T on and T off so let's take T on okay so this is going to turn on the timer now ET is the process time ET is you know your accumulator time okay so we will we have, we have to give some time value to this timer that we can give using using uh, in the source you can go to numerical this is the numerical value which you can connect to your timer okay this is the process time so now this is the time which we want a delay we want a delay for this particular time so for that what we're gonna do is we're going to increase its maximum value because in this timer if we take 1000 it means one seconds time basis milliseconds so we have to increase that to at least 10,000 okay now it has maximum value of 10,000 which is 10 seconds okay so let's have 10 seconds time now what will happen after 10 seconds we are going to actuate the reset here but you cannot do that directly this cannot be done directly so the alternative is we'll take a bit from the memories you take a bit okay and you connect this bit with this output okay now we'll take you know, now you will take another bit because even this cannot be connected here we will take another bit this is a, just a way to connect your inputs with different blocks so here we can assign an address let's say address 5050 oh, okay we have to assign the same address to this bit because then this will respond to this bit if this is on this will be on so let's take here 50 as well now the function here is we have to connect to reset now what will happen when there is any motion here it will set this block which will set the light entrance which will set which will latch this light and then this light is going to actuate a timer in which we have fit a delay of 10 seconds so after 10 seconds this timer will be on and this will actuate this bit which will actuate this bit which will reset this block which will reset the light so light will be off for after 10 seconds so let's see that so just for your viewing so now I'm here if I move light is on this bit is set light is on the timer is set the time is going on 10 seconds and after 10 seconds this will be off okay so if you want to see how much time it is taking actually the real time you can also see that by taking output and connecting here now you can see the time as well now if I move again this is on time has started when it is 10 seconds this will bit, bit will be on this bit will make this on and this will reset this set reset block so now although the sensor is off you will find here again 
this will be off after 5 seconds but light will be remain on for 10 seconds because we have latched that using this mechanism so that's how you can vary the time between your whatever the, whatever the time you require you can change it to 15 seconds 30 seconds 20 seconds totally up to you by using this logic this is the control logic so that was all about automating the door light using a motion detector and changing the value of time using a timer set reset bits and memory bits thank you